all right guys i hope you can still hear me even though i speak in a very very low tone voice i hope you can still hear me even though i speak in a very low tone voice uh today we're going to be talking about uh why you, it is important to have good crit rate and crit damage stats so that's what we're going to be talking about today uh so why would you need a good amount of crit rate and crit damage stats on your dps when you could just put all of those into attack well here's why let me explain it to you if for example you had a hundred percent crit damage that it be that that is basically doubling your attack for example you're dealing as an example you're dealing about five thousand damage to enemies so if you had a crit damage of at least a hundred percent you would be dealing not 5,000 damage, but 10,000 damage to enemies. So that's roughly two times the amount of damage. So for example, if you're dealing 20k to enemies, so instead of it just being 20,000, you'll be dealing 40,000. That's, so that's how much it's a big deal to have a crit damage subset. That's why it's so important. Now I'm going to tell you why it's also important to build crit rate in there as well. So it's important to build crit rate because without crit rate, uh, you, your crit damage is practically trash. It's it's useless piece of shit. <laughs> so without crit rate, your crit damage is practically useless. So you need crit rate in it as well. I would say about 60 or better yet 65 to 70% crit rate would do. That's like 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10, you'd be doing crit damage, you'd be critting for a short bit, you'd be critting. If you had like 40 to 50 crit rate, that's not gonna be enough. You won't be critting as much. So if you had like a ratio of 70% crit rate and a 200% crit damage, that would be good. You would always want a 1 is to 2 ratio between crit rate and crit damage so if my in my standards i preferably would go for a 200 percent crit damage and a 70 percent crit rate so 70 percent crit rate and a 200 percent crit damage that's what i prefer in my own standards although the more the merrier for example like example i had like 250 crit damage or 80 crit rate that would be a lot better so the more the merrier that's what i'm trying to say with crit damage you could either double or triple your damage the higher the crit damage you have at 100% crit damage that's double the damage at 200% crit damage that's basically tripling your damage so as before you will dealing 5000 to 10000 damage now you're dealing three times the amount of damage which is 15000 damage so that's why it's important to have at least 200% or more crit damage and it's also important to have crit rate because without crit rate you would not be dealing any crit damage whatsoever so that is why it is important to have crit rate and crit damage stats now you understand it properly but of course it's also important to have a high attack stat because that is what you're multiplying with your crit damage if you only have for example like uh 3000 attack that would only be multiplied by 3 that would only be 9000 damage instead of 20 so it's also important to have a high attack stat so yeah you have to balance out all of them and it's also important to have either an elemental damage or a physical damage like for example uh for example if you're if you main diluc or hutao or yanfei which they're all pyro you would want to have a pyro damage bonus on your goblet if you're doing a physical dps build like rosaria razor or eula you would want a physical damage bonus on your goblet for example if you're remaining hutao which is a pyro to balance out the crit rate the crit damage the attack and then the elemental damage bonus which is the pyro damage bonus that is how you max out all of your attack potentially is increasing your dps to the max making you broken op as fuck that is how you become op as hell 